Okay, partnership. Partnership, as you know, this one is one macam among of the types of the business. Kan dia ada business partnership juga. And dalam slide ni, dia ada bagi tahu the definitions of partnership. And macam secara generalnya, partnership ni is when uh, you have like two two more owner in that particular business. So macam kalau nak kata dia punya teorinya, it is the relationship which subsists between persons care persons person carrying on a business in common with a view of profit means when uh, we have like probably two owner in one business so that two owners still have the the same common objective which they want the business to make profit so that one is partnership and kita dah belajar ada punya karakteristik of the partnership semua kan okay. and secara uh, amnya how to form a partnership business it is uh, based on the macam ada tiga different situation and biasanya uh, siapa yang nak go into partnership business dia kena ikut the provisions of the partnership agreement and ataupun all partnership act. So kalau soalan tanya, uh, partnership business have to follow a different guidelines ataupun agreement. Please state what is the provision that need to be followed by the partnership business. So you state kan je lah uh, partnership agreement and also a partnership act. And uh, there are three situation where uh, a partnership business too can be formed. Uh, it's sama ada when two or more individuals with or without existing business, combine capital or uh, expertise to open a partnership business. So, bila dua ataupun uh, lebih daripada uh, dua individuals yang tak ada lagi business, tapi diorang ni decided to uh, open up a new business and with the new capital and also the new expertise. So, to uh, one of the situation to form a partnership business. Ataupun boleh jadi when um, dia dah ada yang seorang tu dah ada uh, sole trader punya business meaning dia dah ada milikan tunggal business dia. And then suddenly dia nak expand that business. So dia nakkan partner eh? and needed a partner to join him uh, dalam business yang dia buat tu. So itu pun uh, boleh di kategori as a partnership uh, business sebab daripada pemilikan tunggal dia ambil partner lagi seorang terus jadi partnership business means that partner yang dia baru appoint tu kena contribute like some amount of the capitals or expertise in the existing business ataupun boleh jadi when there are two business means diorang ni uh, mula-mula dia operate separately satu ni uh, dua-dua ni ada business milikan tunggal masing-masing contoh satu uh, partner A dia jual baju partner B dia jual seluar sahaja so suddenly dia nak combine uh, those two uh, sole traders uh, mean to trader punya business into one business into one existing business so diorang pun boleh jadi um, business ataupun boleh wujudkan satu partnership business yang begitulah that one like a three situation like how to form a partnership business okay then the advantage or you can say that it is a reason why people going into partnership business instead of sole trade uh, punya business satu adalah disebabkan capital sebab apa capital bila seorang uh, bila milikan tunggal in the business, capital tu semua yang owner yang satu tu je yang kena provide. But if partnership punya business, kita like selama ada kita ada two or more individuals tadi kan. So kalau dua orang dia punya owner dalam business tu, so dua-dua akan provide the capital. The capital. So the capital sekarang ni akan semakin bertambah lah. That's why that is the like the main uh, reason why people going into partnership business ataupun why they are uh, want to form a partnership business and then the next advantage is on expertise 
Tak, dia dah stop. Okay. Expertise. Expertise pun sama macam capital tadi tu. Bila ada new partner nak join into the business, dia kena bawa and dia kena contribute uh, capital and dia juga kena uh, contribute expertise. Expertise here is like macam dia bawa dia punya staff ke and the staff tu contain a new or specific skills yang before ni dalam business lama tak ada. Suddenly partnership, partner yang baru tu bawa uh, the new expertise into the business. So that jadi dia punya advantage of the existing business lah. Right and then uh, the the third advantage which is on the management. Kan bila dah ada new skill dan the new expertise in the business yang dah dibawa oleh new partner jadi sekarang management ni uh, dah kiranya dah able to uh, counter any issues yang sebelum ni dia ada. So uh, now the management ni boleh you know, partners who are involved in the management of the business share the responsibility and in the decision making. Means bukan seorang sahaja yang kena handle the management but probably uh, two partner ataupun the the ada semua partnership atau semua owner yang have the responsibility towards the business uh, can actually uh, bantu lah the, the punya management tu. Especially in making the decision. That is uh, tiga je dia punya advantage. So make sure kalau soalan tanya advantage, jangan tulis uh, this one je. Jangan tulis dia punya explanation je. Make sure tulis dulu dia punya uh, reason. First is capital and then baru tulis dia punya explanation. Okay. Word in table pun is much better lah. Okay. This is the characteristic where kita dah belajar benda ni dalam kita punya topic one. Topic one. And uh, macam saya cakap yang hari tu dulu masa test Korang tak tulis dia punya karakteristik. Korang just tulis contoh ownership. Ada 2 to 20 uh, ownership atau partners. Uh, you shouldn't do like that. It's supposedly to put the characteristic first then baru explain berapa orang, berapa capital, register kat mana, baru tulis macam tu. Sekejap ada lagi nak masuk. Okay. So ini semua kita dah belajar so dia uh, apa kita just keep on this lah. Then dah ada lagi nama sejap. Mesti lupa dia kelas hari ni eh. Tu semua orang lambat ni. Nanti kalau um, apa tu tak dapat nak catch up kan korang tengok balik video saya ni saya akan post balik dekat dalam YouTube. Okay and then uh, there are like four types of partner. Dia bukan ada satu je jenis partnership business but dia ada banyak jenis partner yang in the partnership business tu. One is general partner means um, partner yang ada dalam business tu dia akan contribute the fund or the resources into the business. Resources here uh, could be the expertise yang saya mention tadi lah. And uh, diorang ni ada equal responsib responsibility in the management of the business. And diorang juga ada responsible for the business asset and liabilities. So kalau let's say ada dua partner in the business, so dua-dua ni akan responsible in the management and also the business asset and liability. But ciri-ciri uh, for general partner ni, diorang akan ada unlimited liability. And then the second uh, types of partner is sleeping partner. This is like a common like uh, memang common sentence atau common word yang korang selalu, de selalu dengar. And biasanya dalam your group assignment pun akan ada sama yang uh, sleeping partners ni. So the meaning of sleeping partners ni means uh, partner yang ada dalam business tu dia tak involved or not actively involved in the business or any admin work of the business. So Biasanya yang orang yang tak involved dalam bisnes ni ia ialah bila uh, bisnes tu sendiri uh, don't have macam tak perlu fund, fund sangat pun the fund contributed are still being retained means uh, 
uh, the fund tu uh, dah maintain dah so uh, partners tu rasa macam buat apa aku nak contribute capital lagi dia dah have enough uh, capital in the business so I don't have to do like ataupun to contribute anything so dia just macam kadang not actively involved in the business lah sekejap lagi and uh, they still have unlimited liability okay that one is the second types of sleeping sorry sleeping partner the second types of partner and uh, next types is unlimited partners this is when they are like macam based on the liability yang dia orang kena uh, tanggung tak kalau nampak je unlimited partner ni kita relatekan balik dengan liability yang uh, each of the partner kena tanggung. So macam uh, uh, maksudnya kat sini dia macam in terms of uh, his or her liability with regard to business debt. So don't say anything. Eh saya nak ada komen tak dia? Atau someone raise hand? Tak ada. Okay. And then uh, um, dalam unlimited partner ni juga diorang still have unlimited liability because dia ni are responsible to pay back dia punya debt of the business and uh, itu sahaja kalau nak relatekan pasal unlimited liability ni eh sorry unlimited partners ni just relate back dengan uh, dia punya debt or dia punya liability means diorang still ada unlimited liability lah and diorang are responsible to settle settle the debt sendiri and last uh, types of the partner is limited partner when you see limit, limited like limited partner je dia adalah uh, partner yang ada limited liability see partner's liability is limited So the orang ni uh, are not like responsible of the debt of the business sangat macam unlimited partner study. Okay, tapi uh, the orang juga takkan not take any part in the administrations of the business. So uh, limited partner and sleeping partners dia lebih kurang sama. Cuma nya the orang ni uh, ada limited liability, but sleeping partners tu ada unlimited liability. So I just dah put lah the difference here Kat sini kan macam tadi Type of partner ada empat, satu general partners tu unlimited Sleeper partners tu unlimited uh, Unlimited partners, unlimited liability Limited partners dia ada limited liability Okay And then Kita tengok types of business So now kita tengok pula the governance of partnership business The governance of partnership business ni, dia just nak cakap uh, how the partners going into partnership business. Dia mesti kena uh, follow the partnership agreement, right? Tapi uh, the partnership agreement tu can be made uh, verbally or written. Verbally maksudnya secara uh, cakap macam ni je. Maksudnya, okay, aku nak kau jadi uh, aku punya partner lah. Macam tu pun dah termaktub lah dia punya agreement kat situ ataupun you kena sediakan satu like paper yang agreement, satu paper agreement yang uh, each of the partner has to sign that paper to show that uh, dia orang tu ada partnership uh, contract macam tu and biasanya dalam contract tu atau dalam agreement tu mesti kena uh, ada contents ni lah satu dia uh, related with capital contribution uh, regarding the profit sharing ratio, interest on capital, interest on growing and salaries to partner. Maksudnya dia orang ni kena stated kan contoh okay ratio kau dengan aku punya profit uh, kita 50-50. Ni kalau dapat profit kau dapat 50% aku dapat 50%. So kalau contri uh, capital contributions uh, masa dia nak buat agreement between partners tu dia orang kena stated kan, oh aku uh, provide capital to the business like 50,000, kau 10,000 macam tu. So semua ni kena uh, stated kan in the agreement dulu lah and before dia stated kan, uh, before dia uh, started their business lah. So actually content-content ni semua ni adalah one of the transaction between the partners and also the partnership business tu lah. So uh, regarding uh, 
the capital contribution tadi tu uh, regarding the loan, the drawing made by the partners, interest on the capital, interest on loan, interest on drawing and also the salary or remunerations yang partners dapat tu itu sebenarnya adalah transaction yang kita kena record dalam partnership book of account di kemudian hari sebab tu dia kena statekan uh, syarat-syarat regarding this uh, term in the agreement early on Okay, so uh, kita dah masuk macam calculation part and kena ingat um, chapter ni akan juga ditanya part teori tau dia bukan uh, calculation saja macam financial statement yang before kita belajar dia yang ini dia akan juga masuk like Uh, soalan ni kan ada A, B, C kan? So yang C tu mesti teori So nak tak nak korang kena like hafal Dia punya teori punya yang tadi saya just belajar atau kita ajar tadi lah Okay, okay now journal part Journal entry from the transaction yang tadi saya cakap uh, Korang kena tahu the journal entry of those transaction Contoh macam capital, capital transaction means kalau capital tu kan uh, whenever like the partners brought in uh, cash into the business so dia akan relate dengan capital ni sini so uh, korang uh, kena recap balik yang kita punya transaction in fact before kita belajar tu lah bila uh, the partner or the owner brought in capital into the business contoh cash ke so dia debitkan that cash or dia debitkan that asset ni yang kita bawa tu and because of the capital is kita punya OE so bila OE meningkat kan kita akan kreditkan that account that's why kita kreditkan capital over here and sama juga macam loan kalau kita buat not kita tu is the partner or uh, the owner tau so saya guna ayat kita so korang uh, jangan confuse pula siapa kita ni okay so let's say um, kita buat loan so bila kita buat loan kita dapat cash. That's why kita debitkan cash dia, cash or bank lah tak kisah. And kita kreditkan the loan from the partners. So the loan here uh, is kita punya liability je ni. So liability bila kita meningkatkan liability kita, kita akan put it on the credit side. That's why kita kreditkan loan from the partners here. And let's say uh, the partners make any drawing uh, towards the business. So kita debitkan drawing side because kita punya OE time ni menurun Okay, OE menurun kita kita debitkan dia That's why drawing punya account on debit side And probably tengok barang apa yang dia drawing kan Kalau dia uh, withdraw cash So kita creditkan cash But if dia withdraw purchases or goods Kita akan creditkan purchases account ini tiga ni kita dah biasa uh, buat dah dia punya journal entries masa kita dulu, dulu kita buat journals and journals and also like the account view tu kan so itu I hope that korang ingat lagi lah ok yang baru ni yang ini interest on drawing means uh, whoever yang make drawing in the business kita akan charge kan dia uh, interest means the owner tu akan kena charge interest on drawing So bila kita charge interest on drawing, now kita kena debitkan uh, the capital because the capital time tu uh, menurun sebab kena bayar eh, uh, the, the the drawing atau the interest tu and that's why kita punya uh, capital account menurun or probably dia based on question for the current, current account menurun so current account kita, kita kena debitkan dia and uh, creditkan interest on drawing because interest on drawing is part of kita punya like uh, liability which kita kena pay so when liability increase kita kena credit kan dia okay ni baru tau so if you like tak kecap apa yang saya cakap korang ingat balik um, formula kita yang A plus E plus O E L R tu korang ingat balik and ingat interest on drawing is kita punya liability which kita are obliged to pay uh, the, the, the interest Okay Now the next one is interest on capital This one pun also benda baru 
dalam chapter ni which kita tak pernah belajar before ni So kalau uh, before ni kita masukkan capital in the business without any uh, anything yang kita kena charge lah but in this chapter kita assume that capital kena charge interest Okay, bila dia kena charge interest, kita kena debitkan So interest on capital ni is part of like kita punya uh, obliged to pay juga but dia bukan liability, dia adalah kita punya expenses means um, kita kena put it under and credit kan the capital account ataupun the capital ni kena masuk dalam current account kita di kemudian hari so credit kan uh, capital account Uh, yang mana masih blur tapi rasa memang ramai yang blur jangan risau nanti kita akan tengok uh, and try buat soalan and korang akan faham apa maksud yang journal entries and biasanya dalam soalan ni dia tak ada suruh buat journal so you don't have to, to worry much lah then next on interest on loan pun sama dia adalah kita punya uh, expenses so bila expenses meningkat kita debitkan interest on loan and kita kreditkan the capital right ataupun capital uh, ni akan dimasukkan dalam kita punya current account later on and ni adalah related dengan salary paid and salary unpaid ataupun this accrual salary so this one adalah uh, debit credit yang kita dah selalu uh, belajar dah so tak payah pun kan saya tengok lagi dan saya tak nak peningkan korang lagi Okay, now um, regarding the capital uh, contributed by the partners too dia ada two types of capital okay ataupun capital structure lah one is fixed and another one is fluctuate capital kalau fixed maksudnya capital yang di contribute in the business too uh, fixed je uh, setiap tahun contoh setiap tahun aku, aku akan contribute like 1000. So 1000 tu dia akan uh, masukkan dalam uh, books of accounts fix tak ada turun ke tak ada, tak ada naik ke dia tak berubah. And bila ada uh, fixed capital structure so dia kita punya like capital ataupun cara nak buka books of account tu kita kena separatekan that account into two which is satu capital account and another one current account capital account tu akan kita masukkan dalam capital account tu regarding reductions or any like increase in capital but if uh, current account tu kita akan masukkan uh, this kind of transaction in the current account lah interest on capital, interest on loan, drawing ini semua ni akan masuk dalam current account tu nanti And soalan biasa dia takkan mention capital structure tu fix or fluctuating. So kalau dia kata tak mention, kalau dia tak mention dalam soalan, so kita just assume it as fixed capital structure. Okay, so maksudnya korang kena buka dua account lah, capital account and also current account. Okay, and untuk fluctuating capital structure, dia tak separatekan that account into two. Dia masuk semua Uh, items yang uh, kita separate tadi tu into one account which is under capital account so as you can see semua item yang uh, dia separate ni sebelah sini tadi ni dia masuk dia semua dekat dalam capital account okay itu sahaja dah tunjuk okay now kita masuk part dia punya part calculation atau part account yang korang kena buka nanti lah dalam soalan tu Okay, kalau dia kata fix capital structure Saya cakap kita kena buka capital account using it So, this is the, the capital account kita biasa buka And korang kena ingat capital account on debit side ni It is when OE menurun Betul? So, kita put any uh, capital yang menurun Menurunkan capital Kita akan put it on debit side But as for yang credit side ni is when OE meningkat ok ingat and of course jangan lupa dalam dalam account ni nanti kita kena letak dia punya opening balance balance PD and also balance CD 
Okay, and biasa kita punya account capital dia ada satu RM je kan? Itu ada satu RM, satu RM. As for partnership punya, punya capital account, korang kena put the partnership ataupun the partner's name dekat atas ni. Contoh ada partner E, partner B. Partner E, partner B kan? So, uh, dia punya account should be like this lah. Okay. Ni cash, let's say. Cash uh, partner A masukkan berapa, cash partner B masukkan berapa macam tu. Alright, done. Next is uh, on, no, jangan, uh, betul lah, on appropriations account. Appropriation account ni, dia adalah um, account yang related to the company. Means company kena buka appropriations account ni along with the capitals account and also current account tu nanti. So, um, dia punya explanation on this account tak ada dalam slide. So, saya tulis sendiri dekat si. I hope you can write your own notes. Salin lah, salin. Nampak tak macam ni? Ini tak ada dalam, okay. Ini tak ada dalam slide. Sebab dalam slide, dia just mention yang tadi tu je. Okay. And macam saya cakap, appropriation account ni akan dibuka together with the capital account and also the current account just now. And uh, capital account korang tahu, dia nak record semua uh, yang related dengan capitals uh, punya like terms. Right. And untuk appropriation account ni, dia adalah company punya account. Means, um, Uh, dia bukan based on a partnership punya account, dia company punya account. So, company kena buka lah account, uh, appropriation account ni. And it is to show net profit appropriation to each of the partners. So, kita buka appropriation account ni untuk kita nak uh, tunjukkan the profit yang setiap partner dapat. And dia related with a partnership account. Means dalam partnership, dalam appropriation account ni, Tujuannya adalah untuk nak tu, uh, nak nak apa? Nak kira net profit of each of the partners kan? So, dia akan jadi macam ni. Okay, this is the appropriation account in horizontal form. Dia ada two types of like form lah. Satu is vertical form and another one is horizontal form. So, saya akan tunjuk dua-dua. Dalam slide tu is vertical form. Nanti saya akan tunjuk juga. But as for this one, is horizontal form and dia macam up to you. If you prefer horizontal form, you can do so. If you prefer yang vertical form, you can do so as well. Okay, this is uh, cara dia. First thing, um, masa nak buat uh, appropriation account ni, yang first thing awak kena masukkan is the net profit. Okay, ini net profit ni is net profit of the company which dia belum Uh, distribute among partners lagi. So sekarang kita nak kira lah kan berapa setiap partner tu dapat daripada net profit yang bisnes tu buat. Okay. So dia pun masukkan uh, setiap uh, apa tu setiap expenses yang related to the partners which yang sepatutnya kena like tolak and tambah in the net profit lah. So awak masukkan interest on drawing here on the credit side So let's say ada partner A and partner B. So awak masukkan dia punya totals of interest uh, for each of the partners here, here and then you tambahkan dua ni. Okay, this one is the totals of the interest on drawing for partner A and partner B. Masuk kat sini. So same goes to salary and interest on capital lah. Dah, dah awak tambahkan dia masuk tepi. Tambahkan setiap uh, interest on capital partner A and partner B ni masukkan dekat uh, kolom akhir. Kan, bila awak dah masukkan semua salary, interest on capital, interest on drawing then awak totalkan. Macam buat account biasa. Mula-mula awak totalkan net profit with interest on drawing here. Yeah. Bila awak totalkan, let's say lah uh, belah kredit ni lebih besar daripada belah debit punya angka atau punya total. So you take the largest one punya balance, you minus with the uh, yang smallest one ni contoh you minus with salary and interest on capital punya total, you will get the balancing amount. Betul. Kalau dulu kita buat buka account, 
the balancing amount tu kita put as balance CD right but as for this one the balancing amount tu kita kena times uh, with the pre agree ratio for each of the partner Okay, let's say kita dah dapat balancing amount here. Okay, kita dapat the balancing amount. The balancing amount ni kita kena bahagikan according to the partners. Contoh uh, balancing amount ni dapat berapa? 50 ringgit let's say. So uh, kita ada dua partner and dia tak mention partner A, partner B dapat berapa. So kita assume dia orang dapat 50-50 je lah. So bahagi je 50 bahagi 2 uh, 50 sini kan bahagi 2 untuk dapatkan partner A punya profit means partner A dapat 25 and partner B dapat 25 Ni adalah cara you uh, untuk distribute the profit among the partner You kena kira dulu interest on drawing, salary, interest on capital baru you distribute the net profit tu to the partners Okay, and ni macam biasa lah, ini tambah and then put the total here 50 macam tu and these figures should be the same with these figures lah ni macam account biasa tu je kita buat tu Okay and ini untuk horizontal form but if you uh, tak familiar or tak suka horizontal form kita boleh buat on vertical form vertical form macam dalam slide it is like this and ada dua slide yang explain the the appropriation account punya vertical form ni Saat, yang ini dia yang belah sini dia explain uh, secara word macam mana you kena buat appropriation account okay contoh dia cakap to arrive at the balance of net profit to be shared by partners begin with net profit transfer from the income statement so dia kena start with the net profit yang net profit ni kita dapat daripada kita punya soci kan kita biasa buka soci and so soci kita kena uh, kira net profit kita letak dulu atas atas ni itu kalau net profit kita letak je lah the figures uh, like that positive figures tapi kalau dia dapat net loss korang put it dalam kurungan means uh, bila nak start tu korang kena put negative lah negative 10 ringgit ke negative 50 ringgit ke means korang note that that one is a loss right this one is net profit so tak payah nak letak negative lah ataupun bracket and plus with interest on drawing sama macam yang atas ni yang plus ni is credit side credit side of the appropriation account yang tadi saya tunjuk tu and sama juga you kira lah A punya interest berapa, B punya interest berapa bila you plus you put the total uh, dekat kolom sini then you total up net profit plus weight and uh, interest on drawing you dapat figures uh, dia kat sini and then kena tolak dengan interest on capital and salary e, yang bawah ni start from last ni this one is on a debit side of appropriation account saya tulis lah sini ni uh, credit side yang start yang sapa bawah ni this is debit side ok ok now uh, kan debit side ada dua tadi satu interest on capital and salary so uh, korang put sama lah uh, dia punya term and dia punya cara sama je macam uh, horizontal form So kalau put dia punya A, interest on A tu berapa, interest for B tu berapa, total kan masuk total dia dekat tepi ni. And in case salary uh, partner A je dapat. And uh, letak dia punya figures tu here for partner A, letak je lah sini tak ada dua kan. Tapi kalau ada like tiga partners like A, B, C. So A, B, C lah korang letak sini. So bergantung pada soalan juga. And total kan semua. Ni kan tadi uh, net profit tambah interest on drawing you get figure here tolak dengan interest on capital and salary you will get the balance amount here. So balancing amount ni lah yang you kena gunakan untuk distribute to the partners as dia punya profit. So macam ni ada dua je partner macam saya cakap kalau dia tak mention 
uh, berapa partner A ni dapat 70% ke 80% ke dia tak dia tak mention korang assume dia 50-50 so 15 bahagi 2 15,000 bahagi 2 ni kan bahagi 2 you will get 7,500 sama lah untuk partnership B so benda ni dengan benda ni mesti sama the amount so it's up to you whether you want uh, to use horizontal form yang macam uh, bentuk T account tadi ataupun you prefer vertical form macam dalam slide ni cara dia uh, sama je but uh, it is uh, horizontal and vertical ok belum habis lagi kan ada tiga account untuk nak buka this uh, partnership business and tadi kita dah masuk capital account right now appropriation account pun kita dah tengok and another one is current account sebab saya tak tertinggal current account ni is to show uh, frequent or transaction between the partners and company ni tadi dia lebih kurang macam uh, appropriation account but this one is uh, macam lebih kepada specific to the partners lah Okay. And the amount in that current account uh, is when the partner receives interest on capital, salary and remaining profit uh, made by the business and if the partners make any drawing or charge interest on drawing So kalau korang tengok ini adalah elemen yang akan dimasukkan dalam current account juga nanti And if the partners uh, withdrawn more than their shares of profit the current account will show a debit balance and kalau diorang punya uh, partner tu terlebih keluarkan duit more than the shares of the profit so the current account tu akan show a debit balance and account ni adalah related to a companies and also partners punya 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 figures lah so this is the example of current account as you can see dia lebih kurang sama macam appropriation account cuma appropriation account dia tak masuk kain part drawing amount here and also salary here okay and interest on uh, loan pun dia tak masukkan so ini adalah cara you nak buat current account and current account punya method is only one dia tak ada horizontal dia tak ada vertical Okay, current account like this and make sure before you start the account you kena masukkan balance DD of that account ataupun opening balance of that account so let's say kita ada dua partner partner A and partner B so masukkanlah the balance account for partner A and partner B like this here and here uh, IOC is interest on capital masukkan interest on capital on credit side of current account here and here and this is interest on loan IOL to interest on loan okay then masukkan here uh, debit side eh sorry uh, A punya figures and B punya interest and salary let's say salary A dapat berapa tulis kat sini salary B dapat berapa tulis kat sini and the share of profit ni uh, still this is the remaining uh, figures so you just put this aside first Masukkan dulu drawing. So drawing partner A ni A dah sepatutnya. Drawing partner A tulis berapa. Drawing partner B berapa. Ha, ni interest on drawing kena berapa. Uh, B kena berapa. And then uh, from the appropriation account tadi kan ada share of profit. Right macam tadi kita punya situation 25 here. 25 here. Then you plus all together semua ni we'll get the figure sini kan minus ni minus ni you will get the balance cd figures so this is the balance fig balance cd of current account so maksudnya the punya step to perform the punya account you kena buka capital account dulu oops capital account and then appropriation account, saya buat AC je lah uh, appropriation account and then current account CA tu current account ok 
Okay, so that korang boleh tahu the shares of the profit ni tadi dulu Boleh terus masukkan From the appropriation account yang kita dah buat tadi Okay, next Dah habis on buka-buka account tu Still kita on the theory part Okay, untuk um, partnership dia ada uh, changes If the partners tu buat something macam ni Ni adalah changes yang biasa dilakukan dalam partnership business lah Let's say ada admissions of new partners ke So akan ada changes Ataupun sometimes ada retirement Atau ada someone nak break up from the business Kan dia pun akan buat changes in the partnership business tu Ataupun account tersebut And that the issue Bila ada change of the account tu Dia akan ada issue means issues in change in profit sharing ratio ialah kan contoh before ni ada dua je partner means 50-50 right 50% 50% dia punya uh, profit ratio suddenly ada admissions of new partner 50-50 tu kena divide kan into three partners pula dah tak, tak boleh dah 50-50 tu so ada issue lagi in changes change in profit sharing ratio sebab probably partner B tak setuju ke sebab dia punya profit sekarang semakin rendah ke macam mana ke so ada isu and ada isu juga on the determinations of goodwill and juga ada issues on revaluations of asset and liability kan okay and then uh, ini nak macam nak explain lah on the regarding the admissions of the new partners dia cakap Upon admission, the existing partnership is legally dissolved and a new partnership begins. So, kalau before ni dua, before ni dua orang di partnership, kalau ada uh, tiga orang atau ada partner baru masuk, dia kena dissolve and that uh, old business kena buka baru punya business lah. However, from an economic point of view, the admissions of new partner may have a small impact on the operations of the business. For example, admissions of new partner in a large public accounting firm is done annually without any change in operating policies. So, macam saya cakap tadi, sepatutnya kalau ada uh, new partner yang baru masuk dalam business tu, the old partnership business kena dissolve. Means dia kena buka partnership business yang baru. Tapi, Uh, kalau nak tengok secara reality dia, sometimes uh, apa tu, admissions of new partner tu won't be macam takkan bagi efek sangat pun on the business. So, especially on the large public accounting firm yang dia bagi example ni. So, dia kena tengok situation juga. Okay. Next, untuk nak apa tu consider dia ada uh, admission of, of partner ni kiranya nanti kan ada changes in the partnership regarding the admissions of new partner ni so dia ada two method to consider uh, on the admission of this new partner satu purchase of an interest means uh, new partners yang baru masuk tu kena uh, charge a new interest interest of one or more existing partners Thus, the capital account of the partners who are party to the transactions are impacted. Um, Saya cakap ini adalah transaction yang akan impacted if there are a new partners in the business. So yang uh, yang yang the the account yang akan effect is this one lah purchase of a new interest and another one is investment. Uh, ialah sebab dia ada masuk partner baru, means dia akan um, provide like new capitals or new expertise to the business. Itu adalah related with the investment account. So, the new partners to invest the capital or asset in the partnership uh, business tu. So, those net asset and capitals, uh, total capital akan meningkat. So, ini adalah account-account yang akan effect lah if ada uh, new partner dalam business tu. Okay, next. Uh, on the if they are like ada retirement or withdrawals of existing partners. 
probably because of the age factors ke ataupun conflicts between the partners ke atau probably other partners tu dapat like better opportunity kan itu adalah the reason someone like wants to withdraw from the business okay then if um you encounter this kinds of situation the goodwill and revaluations of net asset tu should be determined at the retirement date nanti uh, goodwill and net asset punya like profit dia kena bagi to the to the to, to the partner yang nak keluar tu so bila dia nak bagi to that partner dia kena determine that retirement uh, figures at the retirement date and the balance of the retired partner's capital and current account will be paid to him either in full or in installment it's up to the business and unpaid amount is treated as loan and interest on the loan must be considered so macam saya cakap kalau the partner wants to get out from the business dia akan dapat uh, Uh, capital dia balik ataupun profit dia tu right so the the capital or the profit tadi tu boleh di uh, business boleh bayar in full or in installment and uh, if tak dapat bayar full or installment dia kena treat it as loan or treat it as uh, interest on loan tu adalah macam dia punya account yang must be considered if the partners nak keluar lah Okay, habis uh, chapter last.